What is up YouTube? I just got back from the store and this is probably one of the biggest grocery hauls I've ever done. I didn't really think it fit in the middle of a vlog, so I'm gonna do it as its own standalone grocery haul video. Now, I am flying solo, I don't have my camera guy with me, so what I'm probably gonna do is take the camera off the tripod, kinda fly it, Han Solo, Han Solo, get it? Fly it solo by myself and just show you guys what I got after I unbag all of this. That way you can get a good idea of what I buy right now that I'm dieting and cutting. Maybe you'll take some tips away from this, you'll get a few pointers for your next grocery store visit and we can have a little fun too so if you guys are ready i'm gonna unbag this and we're gonna get started let's do it As you guys can see here, we got a decent amount of stuff here. So I'm just gonna hop right into it. That way this isn't too long of a video. I'm gonna tell you exactly what I got. So starting off, we got, this was on sale. I got 99% lean ground turkey breast, super easy. More, more or less, this is really good in a pinch. If I don't have food prepped, skillet, fry it up really fast. Very lean, high in protein, good to go. Throw some seasonings in there. Awesome, love that. Next, we got some Pacific wild caught cod. I do wild caught cod simply because the farm raised stuff is super inflammatory, but this is probably one of the best white fish you can eat. I think it tastes better than tilapia personally, not a tilapia fan so i like to get me some white cod and then you guys know i'm big on my frozen steam bag veggies lately i've been on a green peas kick and i've been on a brussels sprout kick both of these are a little higher than carbs than your broccoli and your asparagus but i work my macros out and i make them fit so prefer these definitely love them and then got a ton of liquid egg whites another thing it's awesome when you don't have food prepped very convenient mix it up with a shake you can just drink it straight up or i like to make really big egg white egg scrambles with some veggies in there so these are a staple in my diet for sure then we can move on to here. Now I got some different frozen veggie blends here. This is stir fry starters. This is amazing. Add some oil to your pan, fry these up. I think I'm gonna do a cooking video with these here soon, but uh, add the oil, fry these stir fry veggies up, then throw in whatever you want protein wise, and it makes really good meals here. So I do those, and I also got like three pepper and onion blend. These are really good with my omelets or really with anything, to tell you the truth. And then we got the chopped green bell peppers here as well, all frozen, so I don't have to worry about them going bad. It's better than buying fresh, in my opinion. And you can just kind of throw them in a skillet, heat them up real quick, and they thaw out almost instantaneously. So big fan of my frozen veggies, guys. You know that. Convenience makes this entire lifestyle way easier. Come down here. I also got me some Canadian bacon. People ask me all the time, say they can't find Canadian bacon or they're not really sure what it is. Essentially the leanest cut of ham you can get. So I can look at the macros here for this. And per four slices are 57 grams, approximately two ounces. We only have 70 calories, 1.5 grams of fat, one gram of carb, and 12 grams of protein. So really lean here. If you're looking for something different for breakfast, try some Canadian bacon. I absolutely love this. So I got a couple packs of that. And then you guys know I like my Oikos Triple Zero Greek yogurt. About a dollar a piece for these. High in protein, high in fiber, no fat. And they work really good if you blend them with shakes, really whatever you want to do with them. You can eat them straight up if you want, but I prefer them blended or mixed with my oatmeal. You guys have seen in a couple vlogs how I like to do things. So love those. And then I hadn't gotten these in a little bit, but I felt like I needed to pick them back up. Those cravings are kicking in. Sugar free jellos, five calories a piece. You look at the macros on the back, literally zeros across the board. So except for one gram of carbohydrates. So not bad, guys. If you are just need something, these are a lifesaver. Way better than binging here, guys. Way better. Then we got some sauces and stuff here. I get my typical Simple Truth organic hot sauce. I get that in two different flavors. We get that Chipotle one, then we get the jalapeno one as well. So yeah, these taste really good, pretty inexpensive. And then I also do jalapeno mustard because it's zero calorie and gives things a nice spicy flavor. I'm a big fan of spicy stuff, guys. So if you're not, um, this might not work for you, but I don't think this is too bad. And it's zero calories. So adds a ton of flavor to bland dishes. And then we also got some different flavors of salt-free seasonings. Now, these are basically knockoffs of like Mrs. Dash or Flavor God. Kroger has these on sale. I'm sure a lot of other stores might have their own brands too. But yeah, salt free. We got Zesty Blend Garlic Herb. And that other one was Original. And then this one's Table Blend. I don't know what the difference between an Original and a Table Blend is. This one's got some wood in it. <laughs> I have no idea. But yeah, uh, three of these. So keeping sodium low on my diet here recently, I really noticed it makes me look leaner more often than not. I don't carry that bloat around. So I've been trying to cut sodium, just doing little changes to my diet to see how I feel. So doing those in lieu of the normal, all the salt seasonings I normally use. Then I ran out of coconut oil, so I had to stock up. We got ourselves some organic coconut oil. Now, if you buy coconut oil, make sure it is extra virgin. And then if you look at the back, it needs to say cold pressed. If it says expeller pressed, or if it says, you know, refined, it needs to be unrefined, cold 
cold pressed extra virgin if you want legit coconut oil. And honestly, this brand here, I cannot recommend. I took a spoon of it already. It's got a little bit of a coconut oil taste, but real good coconut oil tastes amazing. So I don't know where this messed up out of it's the fact that it's in a plastic bottle or not, but um, it's just not as good as the glass bottle ones I normally buy. They were sold out. So I bought this one. I don't want to say I regret it, but I learned a valuable lesson. And then another thing in a pinch, if you need protein and fast, now these are high in sodium. I wouldn't recommend them every day, but premium chicken breast in water. Now four servings here, this can of chicken breast, right? And I think it tastes pretty good. We got 60 calories a serving, 240 calories in the entire thing, no carbs, only four grams of fat and 44 grams of protein in this whole thing. So you can throw it in a skillet real quick, fry it up. It's already cooked. I've literally just dumped it with some salsa in a bowl and eaten it before. Not bad. So I recommend grabbing some of these if you need food in a pinch. People tell me all the time, well, I didn't have food prep, so I fell off my diet. Well, if you have stuff like this, it helps a lot. Just need a can opener and you're good to go. Now we got some eggs here. Um, you got, I mean, eggs are a staple in my diet. I eat eggs all the time. So can't, uh, don't really need to talk about them. They're eggs, high in fat, high in protein, healthy for you. Uh, don't worry about the cholesterol. There's been no studies showing that the high cholesterol in eggs is linked to anything. I've never had a problem and I eat like six a day. Now, quick here in the middle, I didn't want to miss out on these power crunch bars. These are fairly inexpensive protein bars. The reason I'm opting for these though, let me show you the macros. For low carb days, if I need a snack, they have one gram of fiber, 10 grams of carbs per bar. That's a net nine grams of carbs. So 12 grams of fat, yeah, the fat's a little higher and the protein's not as high as I'd like it to be, but the carbs are so low, it makes these guys a nice alternative. So if I need like a little snack and I don't wanna, you know, go too crazy on my carbs on like a low carb day, these were. So I got Power Crunch and the peanut butter fudge. And we also got it in the peanut butter. There we go. This autofocus is terrible. Peanut butter cream. So two good flavors here, guys. They have a ton of awesome flavors. So recommend these if you've never had one. They taste like a Kit Kat bar. They're wafery. Let me see if you can see that. Wafery. Pay attention to my vlogs. You'll probably catch me eating one of these bad boys. And then you guys know I'm an almond butter addict, right? I can't buy a whole jar because I will solo that thing in no time. So they have these individual Justin's maple almond butter packets here. Um, these are nice because I can get a little bit of my fix without, you know, having a whole jar here that causes me to binge and the whole thing. So um, I bought two. Uh, spoiler alert, I already ate one. I couldn't even wait for the video. So yeah, that happened. So... <laughs> You don't want to get the whole jar. I know a lot of clients I work with a lot of times, they'll want peanut butter in their meal plan, they want almond butter, but they have the same problem I do. They can't control it. Once you're restricted, that stuff almost becomes like candy. So these are a better option if you don't want to, if you're not worried about binging. So recommend those as well. And we also got to I'm carb cycling, but I like to keep some exotic carbs. So when I do have them, I can have a little more fun. So we got some quinoa here. Absolutely love quinoa, high in fiber, really good grain here. And then we also got chickpeas or garbanzo beans, however you want to call them. These take a little longer to prepare, but they are so good once they're done. So good. So got some of those as well. And then we are also rocking some roasted organic almonds with sea salt. These are really good healthy fats. Um, another thing too, you got to be careful you don't get too crazy with them because they're very high in calories. But if you weigh them out, they can fit your goals and you can use them accordingly. If you have a few grams of fat here, you need to fill in or whatever. Almonds are awesome to piece out. And then we also got some unsweetened almond milk for shakes. You know, if I buy some cashew go lean cereal, whatever, I can always preach, get unsweetened because the other ones are only adding sugar that you don't need to your diet. All right. What else we got here? Okay, now they had salsa on sale. So I bought a ton of different styles of salsa here, but we got some mango and habanero salsa. By the way, I love salsa simply based on the fact that it can spice up almost any dish excellently. Salsa is amazing, very low in calories, got some fiber in there, very low in carbs, really good stuff. As you can tell, I've already sampled this one. It's really good, by the way. So I got mango and habanero. I got two of each of these. We also got the fire roasted tomato and corn as well. And then we also got restaurant style three pepper. So all of these are really good. I've already tried them. And then in the, wherever all the, the Hispanic foods are, I got this as well. Green Mexican salsa. This is zero calorie, actually less than one gram of carb per serving. It's really good. Another thing you can use to spice up. So I got two of all of these. So I should be good for spices for a while. And then I'll move back over here to some more of the proteins. I got myself some cooked shrimp. Now you can buy shrimp and I do put shrimp in clients meal plans if they want it. I recommend I buy mine cooked and I buy it peeled and deveined. That way I just don't got to mess with any of that nasty stuff. Now all I really got to do is heat it up in the skillet, add maybe a couple seasonings, and then I can just kind of go to town on it. So high in protein, low in fat, love me some shrimp. It's a little pricier, so I don't have it in my plan all the time, but if I want a nice little exotic meal every now and again, shrimp is good. Then I also got some flank steak here, probably the leanest steak you can buy. Super high in protein, very low in fat. I think it tastes incredible. Very easy to cook with.
with fry up in a skillet really fast. Awesome stuff. So just a big old thing of beef flank steak. And then for my crock pot, we got ourselves some chicken breast as well. Pretty nice grocery haul here. I say all in all, this was about $170. Quite a bit of money. Yeah, but this should last me for quite a long time. So I wanted to stock up on stuff. I was a little running a little low on things and it was good to just spend the money, get what I needed. That way I didn't have to make any trips for a little while. So another thing too, people ask me how I get these uh, pearly whites. <laughs> And it's because I like to use this Crest 3D white toothpaste. So you get this, couple it with, now I won't spend $12 on mouthwash, but couple it with a good mouthwash and you know, twice daily and you're in business. <laughs> All right, guys, I think that covered everything from this grocery trip. So I know I didn't have a camera guy here. Typically I have my camera guy and I can like stand back and like talk and you get to see me, but I wanted to make this video and he wasn't around and you know, I felt like, hey, why not just do it? I can make excuses as to why not or I can just grab the camera, man up and get it done. So let me know what you thought of this grocery haul. If you'd like to see more videos like this and you didn't mind me holding the camera and just narrating, let me know in the comments because I will do that. So, you know, I like to bring this stuff to you guys because you know, you might have an idea how to diet. You might have an idea how to eat healthy, but then there can be like, I've had so many people, for instance, they're like, you know what? I buy a lot of what you buy, but then I watch your video and you turn me on to sugar-free jelly, right? Or <laughs> Jello, or you turned me on to Power Crunch bars, or, oh, there's individual serving things of almond butter. Like there's cool little tips you can get from other people. And like I always say, that's why you should take information from a variety of sources, apply it to your life and, and see what works and see what doesn't. So anyways, appreciate you for watching as always. Thank you guys so much for all the support. Like I said, comment below. Let me know if you like this style of video and if you don't mind me going solo, because if you don't mind it, then I'll do more cooking videos this way, more grocery hauls, a ton of stuff solo. I don't need a camera guy. I can do this by myself. So just let me know in the comments. Thank you guys so much for everything. And as always, remember to smile, remain positive and pay somebody a compliment because you never know whose day you could be making better. And with that, I am out guys. See you at the next video.